This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can take a photograph that was taken in regular daylight like you see here on my screen and add a sunrise effect to it using GIMP. And if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial I will have a link to the original image in the description of the video. So go ahead and download and save that image to somewhere where you can easily access it and we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our image. I'm just going to right click that and go to open with GIMP. And here we have our image opened up with GIMP. The first thing we want to do is add a new layer. So we'll come over here to click this button that says create a new layer and add it to the image. And we're going to want transparency selected here. Go ahead and click OK. And then we should have a new layer here. And what I want to do now is change this color black here. I want to change this to red. So I'm going to come over here to this little rainbow stripe and just click and drag it all the way to the top until this box turns red. And then I want to take the uh, dropper in this box and bring that all the way up to the top right corner. And we should end up with the HTML notation of FF0000, that shade of red. If not, just go ahead and type that in manually and you'll be good to go. So go ahead and click OK. And what I want to do now is go to Edit and go to Fill with FG Color. And it's going to make the whole thing red. And what I'll do now is I'll come up here to where it says Mode. And I'll set that to grain merge. No, I'm sorry, not grain merge. We want soft light. We'll set that to soft light and I'll bring the opacity of this down to about, uh, I'd say about 60%. 60% looks pretty good right about there. And the reason I did that is because if you turn this layer off, you go back to the original image, you'll see that there's a lot of blue in this image because this photograph was taken during daylight. Uh, it looks like it was taken in like the afternoon or something like that. And in order to neutral out some of that blue, we have to add red to make it look like the sun is rising and it's every, things aren't fully colored in yet. So that's why I did that. So the next step we're going to do is to add some coloration to the sky over here. And to do that, we'll uh, create a new layer. So we'll come over here, create a new layer. And again, we want transparency. And I'll just name this layer uh, sky. Go ahead and click OK. And what I'll do is I'll click on this shade up here. And I want to change this color to orange. So I'm going to come over here to this rainbow stripe and click and drag it down until we get like a deep shade of orange, something like that. Maybe FF6C00. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but something like that's pretty good. Go ahead and click OK. And then we'll go to Edit. And again, we'll use Fill with Foreground Color or FG Color. And now what I want to do is come over here to where it says Opacity. And I just want to bring this down just a little bit, just enough so I can see the image, some of the image through it. And once we've done that, I want to right click on that sky layer and find the uh, uh, add layer mask, which is right here. Add layer mask. We want white full opacity. Go ahead and click add. And uh, I want to take this orange color over here and change this back to black. So I'll take this here, bring it all the way up to the top left and we should end up with zero, 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 zero. Click okay. Make sure you have the secondary color the background color set is white, which is FFFFF. If not, just type that in. And once we've done that, we'll go to our blend tool, which is right here. And we, from this, what we want to choose right here is uh, we want to click this drop down and we want to choose foreground to background, which is the second one from the top right there, that gradient. And what we'll do now is for the shape, we'll choose linear, which is the first one in that list. And what I want to do now is bring the cursor up above the image outside of the boundary right there and just click and drag a line going down to like right above where the horizon of the water is. Maybe like an inch, maybe like half an inch above it. And then I'll just hold on to control to lock it onto the vertical axis. And I'd say right about there and go ahead and let go. And that's going to color in the bottom portion of the sky orange. And what we could do now is change the mode of this from this drop down, change that to a uh, grain merge. And I'll just bring the opacity of that down a little bit. And what you notice here is we have the sky having a nice color, like a nice sunrise sort of color. But the, uh, the water and the subjects here, they're all, this is all looks terrible. So we're going to have to erase that. So to do that, we'll just grab the eraser tool. Uh, actually, first what we want to do is right click on this sky letter, uh, layer and go to apply layer mask. Go ahead and click that just to finalize that. And we'll click the, uh, the eraser tool. We're going to want to choose a very soft brush, something like that. And for the size of this, we want this to be pretty big, maybe something like that. And then just go ahead and click and erase over the water to get that uh, discoloration out of the water 
and the uh, the subject there. Go ahead and erase that out. It's okay if some of it is left over on the uh, like the edge of the horizon. That's all right. And there we have that. And you could play with the opacity until you find what you look as good. I notice if it has, if you have it at like a hundred percent, it doesn't look right. It almost looks fake. So uh, you know, I like to keep it at around like maybe seventy-five. I'd say that looks pretty good. And right there, that that by itself is pretty good. But I'm gonna add a little more to this image. If you notice here, I have a light source and some sun rays. So to do that, let's go ahead and create a new layer. Create a new layer. I'm just going to title this one Light Source. And I'll click OK. And I want to grab the brush and I'll flip these colors around so we have white as the uh, foreground color. And uh, for this brush, I'll, I'll choose maybe a harder one. Not the hardest brush, but maybe like the next one down. And again, this is a good size this brush, whatever you use for the eraser, that's pretty good. I want to put this circle right right about here, like halfway between where the horizon is. Where the horizon runs about halfway through the circle, that's pretty good because we want the light source to be coming up from behind the, from behind the horizon. Then go ahead, just click once like that. And uh, that's pretty good. So um, what we'll do now is we'll change the mode to, we'll change this to grain merge as well. And we want to get rid of this white beneath where the horizon is. So I'll go back to the eraser tool. I'll bring the I'll bring the size of this down a little bit. And I'll just go ahead and erase the uh, that white light source from where the uh, where the where it's coming out of the horizon like right, right there. We only want it we only want it visible from behind the horizon like that. And that looks pretty good. And maybe I'll bring the opacity of that down a little bit. Depends just uh, you know, to your own personal taste. I think it looks good like that. So uh, the final step would be to add some sun rays here. And to do that, we'll create one more layer. So cr uh, create a new layer with this button here. And I'll just rename this to uh, Rays. Again, full transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And we want to go back to our Blend tool. But uh, for this one, we want to choose, we want to click on our uh, gradient and come down this drop down here. We're going to look for something called Flare Glow. And it's this little funky looking, uh, this funky looking dotted pattern with gray and white in there. Flare, uh, flare glow, it's called, and for the shape, we'll choose uh, conical symmetrical, which is the first of the two conicals. We want the first one, and we want to bring the cursor right about to where the light source is, and then bring it down beneath the horizon right there, because like like I mentioned earlier, the light source is coming up from but behind the horizon, and then I'll just click and drag out of the image like that, and it'll create these um, sort of like these sun rays. And what we'll do now is we'll change the mode of this to soft light. And we'll go back to our eraser tool and we'll just, uh, let me make this a little bigger size. And we'll erase the sun rays from the water there. They don't need to be on there. Get them out of there like that. And what I want to do now is uh, these these rays are looking a little too, uh, a little too harsh. They almost look fake. So uh, I'm going to soften them a little bit by going to Filters, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And uh, this, the size, the pixel size you should use here is depending on the size of the image you downloaded from the site. I downloaded the 1920 pixel image, so uh, I think a 25 pixel uh, Gaussian Blur works pretty well. So I have it set to 25. If not, you could just go to Edit, Undo, and try a different size. So go ahead and click OK. And that just softens those up a little bit. And we could make it even better by coming up here to the opacity and bringing that down a fair amount. So we just have the faint appearance of sun rays coming up there. And that should complete our tutorial. We have taken uh, a regular daylight image and added a sunrise effect to it. So that's how you can do that using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.